Okay, one more thing before I show you how to put the process in the background. Um, need to talk about logging real quick. We need to go back into the configuration file. Now that you've got everything running and you've checked everything, we need to turn the logging down so that it's not in the debug mode. So we're going to nano into the HP link config file. I'm going to go down here to logging, to the logger. And what we want to do is we want to change this from debug to info. And you can see all of the different types of logging information and settings are all up here. Uh, all of the config files have really good uh, information in them on how to set them up. So anyway, we're going to change that to info so it's so we're not inundated with information. So we're going to control X and save it. Yes. Go back out. Now let's do Python 3. Bridge.py. Okay, we've got it up and running. Hotspot's in there. It's connected to Brandmeister. I'm going to key it up. Okay. So we've got some information that has come across there. I'm going to walk across the room and key up my analog repeater and let it come back across. Okay, and you can see where the analog repeater came back. So now I'm going to stop it. Now, if we go to the temp folder and see where it says HB link log down here. We're going to nano that. And here is the log since it's been up and running. And each time it disconnected. You see the copyright information every time it starts up. So let's scroll down here. Now see this last set right here? That is when I set the log to info only. So it showed you the repeater connecting in, the hotspot connecting in, and then it shows you call start, what talk group it was on, what time slot it was on, and then it used the conference bridge. And then when it shut down. So that'll cut way down on your log and setting it to info instead of uh, debug. And the, uh, let me control X out of that. The log lives in the temp folder, and it'll be called hblink.log.